everyone, Christina here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to water marble your nails. This is a really fun technique and it actually makes your nails re look really awesome. Um, I'll do a close up a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus. There you go. So this is what they look like when you're done with these specific colors. Of course, you know, it'll look different with every color that you use. Okay, so what you'll need is nail polish, obviously. You'll need a clear coat. You will need scotch tape. Um, and a toothpick. And I also use a Q-tip for, um, for the way I do the technique. But you don't necessarily have to use that. Sorry, I was getting it in focus. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to go over the colors that I have. Of course, I'm using Pure Ice, which is a cheap, uh, <laughs> it's one of the cheapest nail polishes you can find. And I actually really love them. And they're perfect for water marbling. Okay, so I'm using Pure Ice. And the turquoise color I'm using is called Scream. And the pink color that I'm using is called After Hours. And the purple I'm using is called Jailbait. Show that real quick. Okay. So I've got these three colors and I've already got my water set up. This is a cup of water that needs to be room temperature. So you don't want it to be hot or cold because it'll cause uh, funky things to happen with the nail polish. Okay, so you want to make sure that all of your nail polish is really shook up. And then you want to open all of them before you get started. And you also want to open your clear coat. This is because once you dip the nail polish into the water, you're going to want to move quickly. Otherwise it'll dry and you may not have time to do everything you need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and use the scotch tape to tape off my nail, which I'm just putting t uh, three pieces of tape, one on the side, or one on each side, and then one towards my finger. And you don't have to use scotch tape, but it's really messy even with scotch tape, so I suggest using scotch tape unless you want to spend the rest of the day, you know, cleaning nail polish off your entire finger. Okay, so I've got scotch tape here, here, and here, and it's just going to keep the nail polish from getting onto my finger. And I have some spots, but that's okay because it'll come right off with nail polish remover. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to dip the brush down in there a lot to where you're able to dip or take take a drop and drop it into the water. And you'll do this with each one, putting the drop in the middle of the drop you put in before. So you'll just keep doing this until you feel you've got enough nail polish in there to make a design. And then when you're satisfied with how much nail polish is in there, you're going to take your toothpick and just draw, move it around, and just draw designs in there. Then when you've got your design in there that you like, you're going to take your finger and you're going to dip it in there like this and push out like that. Uh, and you want to leave it in the water until you've cleared all of the nail polish around your finger. And I like to blow on the nail polish so that you can pull it away when it's dry. If you pull it away when it's still wet, it'll still just kind of float around. Okay, and then as soon as you take it out of the water, you want to shake it, try and get as much of the water off of your nail as possible, and then you're going to throw the clear coat on 
right after. And you're going to want to use a lot of clear coat just so you're not, it's not sticking to the brush and you're pulling the nail polish off with it. So I'm going to shake it and clear coat. Okay, so then you've got this and it's all over <laughs> the tape. So of course if you do it without the tape then this is what your finger is going to look like. And I'm going to shake this little bit and let it dry for a minute. And then normally I like to wait until the clear coat is completely dry before I remove the tape. But I don't want you guys waiting for too long. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove the tape. And I'm going to get nail polish on me because the nail polish is still kind of wet on the tape. But you're just going to remove the tape. And there you go. So we'll do a close up again. And then what you'll do is you'll just clean up around the edges. And you've got interesting and unique looking nails. And the more you do this, the, you know, the more you practice, the better you get. And that's exactly how it is with this because the first time I did this, Gosh, it might have taken me three or four times for each nail and probably a couple hours. But once you're used to it and once you've done it a few times and you've completely got the hang of it, you'll be able to whip these out in, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and stay tuned next week for a new nail tutorial.